Hello, my name is Holly Tanner with the Herman and Wallace Pelvic Rehab Institute, and I'm here with Dr. Yenny Abraham, who's going to tell us about the fertility course. Yenny, we've been so excited that you've been able to share this work with others and had a very positive response to the first course offering you had. And so would you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Yenny Abraham, and I practice in the great country of Texas. Yes, country. It's mm -hmm. fabulous. <laughs> I'm a physical therapist who specializes in pelvic health, and I actually have a practice in the Dallas area that serves um, just primarily women's health problems, a lot of gynecological issues, everything from menstrual problems to managing fibroids and so on. And so um, I ended up figuring it out a couple of years ago that I had all these women that would come in with painful periods. They would have, you know, just significant post-surgical problems and would end up having fertility concerns. And so as I was picking up my visceral manipulation and mobilization techniques, I started to see that we were able to help women conceive and help women who maybe have experience reoccurring miscarriages actually carry to term. And so that's kind of when I said, I think I'm doing something here that could be something else mm -hmm. um, and try to hone in on a sequence, try to hone in on the specific skills that we're doing that we're influencing and maximizing um, the results the most and the outcome. So that's kind of how I stumble. I think I really stumbled across it if I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. Sure. And what can a participant expect to learn when they come to the class? Because in addition to sharing some of the manual therapy techniques that you have found to be really helpful, um, you also have a, a lot of data, a lot of information about hormones and other pieces of the puzzle yeah. that you find valuable. Absolutely. As amazing and as, as awesome as we therapists love to be hands on, um, we, you're going to learn very quickly that you know, serving this population requires you to know a lot more about hormones, a lot, know, a lot more about um, other systems in the body, the endocrine system. You have to know about me the metabolic system in the body and understand how things work on a cellular level. And so we kind of go back to the basics and we go to the basics that a lot of us maybe didn't pay attention to when we were in bio and orgochem. But those are the things that are like kind of the building blocks that help us to understand the language. Um, we talk a lot about the language in the fertility world, the kind of thing, the kind of um, phrases that are used, the, the acronyms that are used that can sometimes be intimidating because the honest truth is once you start seeing this population, you want to stay on top of the research. So what matters to you? How do you come through it? How do you interpret it when a patient tells them, tells you that they have adenomyosis? What does that mean, right? And so we also go through specific fertility-related diagnoses that also help you to formulate and give you a specific kind of like a, a, a pathway in treatment. And then a big important piece that I think I work through a lot is also teaching you how to collaborate and work with other providers that are going to naturally be on this journey with your patients. The number ones are the reproductive endocrinologists. How do we bring value to this, to this puzzle, right? How do we bring value maybe after someone has had multiple failed IVF cycles, right? Um, we can't just say we're just going to do a bunch of manual work. We also have to learn how to speak the language and understand the body in entirety and how it's playing a role in to be able to maximize fertility outcomes. And what helps you stay so excited about working with this population? Why is it, what sparks your passion? The outcomes. The outcomes. <laughs> I can't lie. I mean, we're still therapists. We're still a little bit type A. We love to see results, right? We enjoy the satisfaction. And honestly, there's nothing more satisfying than whenever a patient hands me a positive you know, result or sends me a message like at midnight. Oh my God, Dr. Yenny, you wouldn't believe this, right? It's just so fulfilling. And then also, you know, sometimes what keeps me going is the harder cases, the ones that just, we just can't get the outcomes, right? The ones that really make me go deep into my research, go deep into having conversations with um, other providers and just, and just really work, do the work to better myself as a provider. And I think that's what also makes me a valuable instructor as well is because I am a lifelong learner. And I think whenever, you know, as we're teaching this course, you're going to see a lot of times that I might go off the script and speak about, hey, I combed through this research and this is what I stumbled upon and something to note because um, it just really, it just helps me become a better provider. And I think it's going to really help the folks that we're teaching as well. Do you find that the providers you're interfacing with 
are kind of surprised that you do know so much about this, that you do have so much to contribute, whether it's uh, conversations of, about the hormones, about cycling, about all of that. Yes, I think they're always surprised. And of course, some are surprised in more of a positive way than other, right? There are some that are just like, well, I'm not really sure if I mm-hmm. care much about what you think. <laughs> <laughs> That's mm-hmm. honest, true, because at the end of the day, they went through, you know, probably about five more years of school than I did, right? But there are those that I think that, you know, they actually are really pleasantly surprised. And sometimes, you know, I'll, I, especially when I meet a new provider that isn't quite sure, They'll send a patient or two and then the patient will go back and they're like, oh, so can you explain again what you did? I'm like, did you not just hear me a few months ago? (laughs) (laughs) So, but sometimes they have to see it to believe it, right? They've got to see, wow, my patient is doing much better or their cycles are no longer abnormal. They got PCOS, they're regular now. What are you doing? They're ovulating every month. What are you doing, right? And so sometimes patients too, it's really interesting because when you're balancing patient expectations to provider expectations, you find that you oftentimes will get more uh, buy-in from the patients before the providers. And that ends up being the best mouth, mouthpiece for you in this work. Sure. And you've got several courses happening this year. Yes. And so folks can sign up and they're, they're able yes. to take this course wherever they're at. Mm-hmm. And um, it is a recommendation that perhaps they have and a, an abdomen to work on if they can for practice. Yes, please. That mm-hmm. That is going to be really valuable. Um, hopefully, if you can find a friend who also wants to take the course and the two of you can do it together or just have somebody that, you know, is doesn't have necessarily doesn't have an IUD or have any significant gynecological problems. Um, there are some precautions that we placed in the course mm-hmm. that are on the course description. So you can read through this, but I really think it's valuable. If you have someone there, you're going to get much more out of it. Um, it's really fun. I had so much fun with the first course. We had a lot of great conversations and a lot of them have actually continued even post-course. So I'm just glad to be a resource for our community and be able to serve in this capacity. Terrific. Well, as I'd mentioned, there was an overwhelming positive response to that first course. And so we expect to continue to see that. And I'm sure the course itself will continue to grow as people ask you questions that get your nose in different books and research articles. So thanks so much for, for bringing this course to the Institute. And we're just so pleased that you get to share your knowledge with everyone. Thank you so much, Holly. Mm -hmm.